Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update at the north end of the transept, at the Queen's entrance. This is just north of the main refreshment court, and where the doors to the ladies' and gentlemen's waiting rooms are located. These are discreetly hidden behind a number of planters. On the eastern side is the Queen's retiring room, which has both an outer and inner room. Travelling south through the refreshment area, through the Colbrickdale gates and towards the Crystal Fountain, we turn west along the nave, passing the Eagle Slayer and the Silk Trophy, we reach Horse and Dragon by Matthew Coates Wyatt. This is now located in the grounds of Stratfield Say House, home of the Duke of Wellington, and we are grateful to the Wellington Estate for allowing us to photograph the statue to generate this model. Continuing west, passing the Canadian Timber Trophy and the Bashaw Dog, also by Matthew Coates Wyatt, we come to a display cabinet by Spears and Son of Oxford, containing samples of papier-mâché goods. Spears decorated their goods with images of Oxford. At the middle top is a fire screen. The image on the screen is provided by Fabulous Follies. Below this are two examples of a sewing box, one open, one closed. The images of this box are provided by Mark Goodger Antiques. At the bottom are two examples of fans, now at the Victoria and Albert Museum. Continuing west to the far end of the nave, passing Eldon and Stoll, the Dent Clock, the Colbrickdale Dome, Ross Telescope, Seely Fountain and model of Liverpool Docks, we can see the magnificent Willis organ in the gallery above the western entrance. The workings of this organ are now in Winchester Cathedral, although the enclosure has been significantly modified from that at the Great Exhibition. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.